Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. It's been about a week and a half since I last washed my hair, so I'm really happy to be washing my hair now. The first step that I'm gonna do for this wash day is to saturate my hair with a lot of warm water. One, it is so relaxing. I just love the way it feels on my body. And also using warm water on my hair and just saturating my hair makes it a lot more manageable for wash day. Just a quick note, I know that I am using Diva Curl in this wash day. In my last wash day with Diva Curl, I didn't have the best experience. And that was a little confusing for me because when I did the Big Chop years ago, I did use Diva Curl here and there and I did get good results. That's why when they did send me a whole bunch of goodies, I was going to use them again and I did but I just didn't have the best results. But I was going through so much stress. There was just so much havoc going on in my life around that time. Also, I was three months postpartum and I was about to go into postpartum hair shedding and it was just so much going on. And then I still had the blonde ends. So with that being said, I did wanna try Diva Curl out again once things kind of calmed down so I can give it a fair chance. Surprisingly, they recently sent me more hair products. I said, let me just try them out, see how I like it, and if it's different this time around. So that's why I will be using Diva Curl in this wash day. After my hair is nice and saturated with water, I am going to divide it into quadrants. This really helps me to stay nice and focused and organized. Also, it helps me to make sure that all of my hair gets the TLC that it needs and deserves. I'm going to continue to make sure that my hair is nice and saturated with water. As I've mentioned so many times, products just work so much better on my hair when my hair is saturated with water. Now, the first product that I will be using is the Diva Curl Wash Day Wander. This is a pre-cleanse treatment. It's supposed to help detangle and provide slip, at shine, and resist breakage in your hair. This treatment does have Pracasy oil in it, which is supposed to help provide slip and also keep the hair moisturized and overall healthy. I did use a good amount of this pre-cleanse, I would say about a really good palmful size of it just to make sure that I can really work it in my hair. You just know that I really love saturating my hair with products. I just feel like my hair needs all the goodness and all the loving that it can get. And I did notice that it was easy to glide through my hair. Once I did have a good amount in my hair, I can really feel my hair. It just felt really moisturized and my curls were clumping together. This is how much shed hair did come out as I was running my fingers through my hair. I'm just gonna twist this quadrant up and continue on the other three sections of my hair. As my hair grows a lot longer, I've noticed that my roots, they just feel a lot more softer and silkier than the rest of my hair. I know that the ends are the oldest part of the hair, but it's just an observation that I have made. Also, I definitely need more products because I love to saturate my hair with products, just making sure that it does get the TLC that it needs and deserves. I'm really all about making sure that you do get enough products in your hair and that you do whatever you need to do just to make sure that your hair does thrive. So sometimes I do use a little bit more than normal or as directed. It's really all about you and also a personal preference. I just really love the way my hair feels when I do saturate products because I really wanna make sure that the product is being worked in my hair and also that my hair is actually accepting the products and that nothing is sitting on top of my hair. I really wanna make sure that I have that slip, which this this pre-cleanse treatment did give me a lot of slip. I did like the way that this product felt on my hair this time around. My curls are clumping together, which is a good sign, and my hair felt overall moisturized. And here's the amount of hair that came out of this section. And this is the good palmful that I'm talking about. And I didn't have a lot of hair shedding with the front two quadrants. And this is how much hair shed overall. 
Now I'm gonna rinse the wash day wonder out quadrant by quadrant and prepare to shampoo my hair. So Diva Curl doesn't have your typical shampoo that lathers. What they do have is their no poo and this is supposed to gently cleanse your hair without stripping away the natural oils. So that's why they don't have any of that sudsing and lathering up. Of course you know that I love the lather. I will always love the lather in my hair. I did apply a good amount of this because the last time I did it had like a milky lather. It wasn't like you know that lather that I really love on wash days where you can really see the shampoo suds up but it just gave me that little teeny tiny lather so I did apply a good amount and I really did like it. My hair definitely felt still moisturized, not stripped or anything like that. It's also enriched with chuffa milk and it also has vitamins and minerals to help nourish, moisturize, and revitalize the hair. And it has quinoa protein that helps strengthen, protect, and condition the hair. And also this no poo is supposed to add shine to the hair and it's infused with grapeseed oil. So I didn't realize that this no poo had grapeseed oil in it, but it does make sense because you really want to give your hair all the moisture that it needs you don't want to strip your hair of any oil so I'm all about that even with my DIY shampoo I want to make sure that you can still cleanse your hair get rid of all that buildup and still have your hair feel nice and moisturized once you rinse it out that is really key for me I don't want to have like a good shampoo but then once I rinse it out my hair feels dry and brittle or stiff I really love oils and grapeseed oil is one of my favorite oils I know I say that a lot about the oils but grapeseed oil is one oil that I really do love And after I worked in the no poo really good, I'm just going to rinse that out and then put my hair back into quadrants so I can condition it. And my hair did feel really good after I rinsed the no poo out. For my conditioner, I'm using the One Condition and I am using the Decadence line. The Decadence line is for us naturals with thick and curly or tightly coiled hair. I find that this is the most moisturizing and it just suits my hair the best. So I will be using a really, really good amount of this. I used about maybe one and a half palm full size, like a good palm full size of this conditioner. Just really making sure that I'm working it into my hair because as you know, I really love to saturate my hair with products just making sure that I do get enough. Now I'm not gonna overly saturate my hair with the products where it's just too much, but I just find that when I don't put enough product in my hair or you know, like it just doesn't have slip, my hair is not gonna thrive. So I do find that saturating my hair with water first and then applying the product to my hair and working it in, it just really helps my hair to stay nice and moisturized. 
I really love the way this conditioner is just gliding into my hair strands and I do have that slip. Of course, with saturating my hair with water before applying the conditioner, it works just so much better. I did apply a little bit more conditioner towards the ends of my hair just to make sure that all of my hair gets the TLC that it needs. And with the Decadence line, I find that this line is a lot more moisturizing than the original because when I did do the Big Chop, they didn't have this Decadence line out. So in comparison to the original, the Decadence line is a a lot better for me it helps with a lot more moisture nourishment and protection for my hair and it's very creamy and that is what I need I love creamy products for my hair and it has chiffon milk and quinoa protein my hair does take protein pretty well and many of you know that already and after I worked in the conditioner and my hair really well I am going to rinse it out very good quadrant by quadrant And lastly, for my deep conditioner, I'm gonna use the Melt Instant Moisture Deep Conditioner, and I absolutely love this deep conditioner so much. Yes, I am using a good amount, but this is about how much deep conditioner I use typically. I really love this deep conditioner because it helps to condition and nourish my hair. Also, it makes my hair really soft while clumping my curls, and that is a win-win. I really love the way my curls are clumping together with these products. I love how thick this deep conditioner is and it just melts into my hair, hence the name Melt Into Moisture. It really provides my hair with a lot of moisture and slip. Just look at the way my curls are clumping together. This deep conditioner has a moisturizing matcha green tea butter. Also, it is vitamin packed with sweet almond oil, another oil that I really love and I use it all the time. And it does have protective beetroot extract in it. So I haven't heard much about beetroot extract, but I know a lot of these natural ingredients are not only good for our hair, but also for our skin and to take internally. Like matcha is really good for the body internally and externally. You could just see how well my curls are clumping together and I just love that from roots to tips. That's really important. I have used some products my roots feel really good, but towards the ends it doesn't feel so good. So that's really important to note. You want to make sure that the products you use not only feel good towards the roots of your hair, but also the ends. Now I'm gonna gather all of my hair with a deep conditioner and just put a plastic cap on for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, here is how my hair looks and it just feels so good. Very moisturized, hydrated, and soft. I definitely had a really good experience this time with the Diva Curl products. In fact, I really enjoyed this wash day. My curls are clumped together. My hair feels nice and moisturized, soft, conditioned, nourished, all the above. This is definitely a win wash day for me. I am going to put a cotton t-shirt on top of my hair just to soak up any excess water before I style my hair. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed because I have a lot more videos coming your way and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!